Speaking of drive shaft, here's a drive shaft that belongs to Kodiak. Kodiak is back. Mark Bendler up in the saddle. This is race number three of our second round action. Kodiak's got a tall order to fill. He's going against Torres. Jack Wilman Jr., the former world champion, is up in the saddle. Both trucks are staged. There they go. Torres plays catch up and gets across the finish line first. He nails Kodiak. Jackie Wilman Jr. is taking this truck to the semifinals. Kodiak has problems right after the start. It happens right here over that set of cars. A bad hop. The suspension just doesn't seem to be dialed in for this track. He's all over the place. Taurus, a brand new design truck, a brand new power plant, and things are running flawlessly. That 2,000 pounds of weight in the back of that truck hold down the rear end and keeps him smooth. We have one more race coming up. Barefoot and Tropical Thunder. The winner goes against Taurus. It's going to be a rumble. Woo! It's just like a gunfight at the OK Corral. But I last on Kodiak, and they'll all ride off into the sunset of winter. Kodiak, Taurus is the zodiac sign you wish you never met. And that ain't no ball. Getting ready to take on Barefoot in their round two matchup. You may have noticed some extra cheers from the fans in Florida whenever Tropical Thunder drives by. The state is Driver Wayne Smozanic's home turf. And if you look up Motorsports Fanatic in the dictionary, there's a good chance you're going to find Wayne's picture next to its definition. He started out drag racing several years ago, then pursued his dream of mixing it up with the monsters. It's put him in a sunshine state of mind. The beaches, the sand, fancy stores, uh, water sports, palm trees, these are all things people think of when they think of Florida, but that's not me. My, my world revolves around racing monster trucks. Florida-based three-year competition vet Wayne Smozanic, his life, his passions are the two big R's. Racing trucks and running his performance center auto shop. He is the ultimate motorsport fanatic from stock cars to drag racing to monster trucking, he's done it all. This has been Wayne's life since he's been young. He's always worked on cars. Monster truck driving kind of grew on me, I guess. Uh, I mean, I, I didn't really expect to ever get this far into it or, or get this serious about it. I've been with Wayne five years. When I first met Wayne, we went to a show in Tampa, and he told me, one of these days I'm going to own a truck like that. And I laughed at him. A year and a half later, I guess it was, um, we had a truck. <laughs> and I wasn't laughing anymore. I felt this sport here was definitely growing a lot faster than drag racing. It's a lot more family-oriented sport. You know, we go to a show, uh, we sign autographs, we get to meet the people. It's a, it's a lot closer one-on-one -on -one relationship than drag racing was. Wayne races 43 weekends out of the year. And when he's not doing that, he's with Wendy, putting in long 12-hour days at his auto shop. Former center. But even a die-hard motorsports man like Wayne manages the other two R's, resting and relaxing with his friends who are also heavily into the racing thing. I'm not home a lot of weekends, so weekends we are usually come over here and eat some lunch and relax a little bit. Then it's back to it. Wayne's crew chief Joe is always around, taking constant care of the Tropical Thunder on and off the track. We built the whole truck together, so I pretty much know what he's going to tear up or hurt every run, because like he said, we both put the truck together. We know the weak spots of the truck. Every truck is individual, and they, everybody builds their own trucks. And the fact that it can do what it can do, I guess, is the satisfaction within itself, knowing the truck is as fast as it is because you made it that way. Wayne's dream. Wayne's dream right now? Take Tropical Thunder to the winner's circle and take out the world champion, Barefoot. One of these two trucks is going to the semifinals to take on Taurus. Barefoot and Tropical Thunder, the Gator Bowl, Jacksonville, Florida. This is the showdown. They bring Tropical Thunder up to the starting line and then say, let's try it again. Everybody wants to be very sure they don't red light. We've seen that happen twice before. Barefoot is staged. Brent Schaefer strapped in. We're ready. Off they go. Barefoot takes out Tropical Thunder. 
Barefoot just running better than ever. The world champion Barefoot had that thing won from the very start. Not a turn of the tires was unneeded on this win. No loose dirt, no loose throwing around on the track. This guy was gone. The rocket ship we call Barefoot is in the semifinals. He's going to take on Taurus. He made easy work of Tropical Thunder, and Fred Schaefer is back with Jim. Fred, you're really tearing it up out there. You just put Tropical Thunder away. He had some problems over the first set of cars, but a good run for you. Yeah, uh, Tropical Thunder, he's one of the newer trucks out there, and uh, Jim, he's wanting to beat some of the guys that's been around for a long time like me, and he tried real hard, and I think he had a, just a little driver error there in the second set. Well, you know, he's going ahead, and he's covering up that little suspension he's got under there. He's trying not to give away his secrets. You're one of the masters of the suspension. The suspension here on this barefoot, you get a lot of front-end movement. Maybe you could give him a few pointers. Yeah, thank you, Jim. I think uh, I think he's still learning, and we're all learning, and uh, as we go along, we'll, we'll see how that progresses. A big wave from the crowd at the Gator Bowl. They're excited, and why not? We've come down to semifinal action. Taurus will go against Barefoot in our semifinals. And Invader takes on the Equalizer. Ray Prakowski driving the Invader, ready for the semis. He looks over to see the Equalizer. David Morris taking the Equalizer to task. When we collide, you'll crumble, Invader. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I crumble, Crusher! And I'll shock everyone else when I take out Equalizer completely!